Hey guys, so since the INFP personality is the rarest personality of the Mars Briggs 16 personalities, um, I thought I would share more about my experience in living as an INFP. So last time I talked about how I would always live in my own head and having this really gigantic imaginative universe inside my brain that's one of the traits of an INFP and I also talked about the strengths and weaknesses of having that trait of always living in my own head this time I will be talking about the second trait which is being an idealist as an INFP and because INFPs have such huge imaginations we would always think about all these scenarios and how things would happen and in a way we would usually think of how something would happen in the best way and how something would happen in the worst way. I guess in a certain sense, we always hope to have that utopia which we always dream about in our own heads. We always have all these ideas of how things should be and the rules and the consequences of the different actions in life. And that is actually manifested and also replayed and replayed again and again inside our own heads. If not replayed, it is kind of imprinted in our heads of how things should be. What I mean by that is, for example, if I put in huge amount of work into working on this project, then the outcome of this project should be successful. So this is an example of how I would think that certain things should be. So basically, I kind of have constructed that general rule or principle of how the world should be, how things should be working in the world. And I guess the strength of being an idealist is that I would strive for perfection and I would always want the best outcome and also the best circumstance when doing something and in terms of striving for, for perfection I guess it's also about how we want to and create a better world because you always have this dream of how the world should be and I guess that motivates me to create positive change in the world be it the environment or be it making the world a more harmonious place or a more efficient place or a fairer place. And I guess this also caused me to be very principled and very, very much care about my values because I always want to achieve that ideal, right? So in a way, by being part of the ideal, by living with my principles and my values, I would think that that's the best way to achieve the ideal life or the ideal world, at least using my own effort. And another strength of that is we would always follow our own conscience because I feel like living by our conscience can help us or help myself to achieve a more ideal world where there are no lies or where there are no evil or ill-hearted actions. So... Living by my own conscience is something that I care about. Like if something doesn't feel right or feels like it might hurt some people, then it's kind of hard for me to act on it, actually. 
and for the weaknesses of being an idealist, the flip side of the coin would be being unrealistic. For example, I would think that how much you receive should always be proportional to how much you give. But of course, in the real world, that's not always the case. Things don't always work in the way we want it to be. So this causes a lot of disappointment when the real world falls short of our expectations. And in, when I keep on experiencing things like this, where the real life doesn't meet my expectations, I would start to, I would at first kind of be very confused and I can't believe like something like this can happen or I can't believe this is how the world is. And over time, I would lost hope um, towards having a good life in this world or lost hope that the world can actually be changed to a better place. And I guess I'm also unrealistic in a way that I always look at what my life should be through rosy colored glasses. I guess that comes from our imagination as well. And in a way, it's kind of like I always long to be living in the world of Disney, which seems to be really perfect, where everything works out in the end, and where I am the main character or I'm the prince, and I would save the damsel in distress. I guess that kind of becomes some of the expectations or a very unrealistic expectations of what my life should be, which causes a lot of disappointment again when I realize that it doesn't work like that. I also tend to wait for the best circumstance or the best plan in mind to start an action because in my mind I would always think about the ideal process or the ideal path and plan to get to where I want to but in reality everything is in flux you know the world doesn't revolve around you and there are a lot of uncertainties in the world that you can't expect, no matter how many times you think about it. So when things don't go according to my plan, I would always get very disappointed, especially when it's big things like relationships or career. We are hopeless romantics and think that everything is just like the fairy tale, or at least we want it to be. And we somehow believe that there's a chance that it can be. And lastly, another weakness, or should I say a characteristic of being an idealist as an INFP is that if my values are being challenged or violated, I would often feel very offended, especially when it is people who are very close to me or people who I treasure that question my values or creates conflict. In terms of our ideals, I would feel very offended because I would almost don't believe that there is another way to live because my ideals as an idealist kind of bounds me to think in a certain way. So it's very hard for me to accept another ideal or a perfect version or vision of, of another person. So yeah, all you INFPs out there, do you also 
feel the same way about being an idealist? What are your thoughts on the strengths and weaknesses of being an idealist? And do you find it challenging that you have this certain mindset that your life should be perfect and if it's not working the way you plan and you would be devastated? And if you're not an INFP, comment below as well. Tell me about if you have experienced interacting with INFPs who are big idealists. Maybe you find them very unrealistic. I would really love to know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for listening. And stay tuned for the next video, which I will be talking about the next trait of living as an INFP.